Colosilda Ocampo Miss Philippines. Maligayang bati sa inyong lahat. Alam kong ang buong Pilipinas ay ngayon nasisiyahan sa gabing ito. We'll forever be grateful. Please accept our sincere thanks. United States of America, thank you. The delegate from the Philippines. the delegate from the Philippines. <laughs> Miss Philippines. From the Philippines, Luis Bail O'Reilly. Excitedly about the lavish gowns worn by the beauty delegates, many of the creations. From the Philippines, Maria Clarinda Soriano. And Miss Philippines. Maria Clarinda Soriano. From Quezon City, the capital of the Philippines, she's studying to be a nurse. She wants to live in the United States or Canada for a while and pick up on modern nursing techniques and then go back and work in your own country. Mm -hmm. in, in Quezon? Luzon, yes. In, in Luzon. Oh, I have Quezon. Miss Philippines is Maria Barinda Soriano. She's five feet six inches tall and weighs 120 pounds. She has black hair and black eyes. She's 20 years old. Miss Good evening, my name is Gloria Diaz, and I'm from Manila. Miss Philippines. And I think there are people here who will be happy to Miss Philippines is Gloria Diaz. She's a student taking a business course. And she has two brothers and nine sisters. My, that's a big family. Yes, it is. <laughs> is it fun uh, having so many brothers and sisters? It really doesn't make a difference. I mean, it's just like a small family, I think. Uh, how can it be like a small family when there's so many of you? Well, everybody goes on their own way. They just come back during lunch, dinner, uh, and breakfast. You're just there at mealtime? Yeah. I'll tell you what, Gloria. Our interview is planned. Here you are on television with this big audience. Let's see, can you name your nine brothers and oh, two yes. sisters, or nine sisters and two brothers? Alphabetically, or um, according to rank? I think all mixed up. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, Joselito, Fenty, Ramon, Ruby, Patsy, Coroy, Glory, George, uh, Aurora, Didi, Georgie, Benji, Rio. Very good, but when you get home, apologize to Aurora, won't you? You missed that one for a moment. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Philippines. Miss Philippines. Miss Philippines is Gloria Diaz. She's from Parnate. 
He's 18 years old. He has black hair, black eyes. He's five feet five inches tall and weighs 115 pounds. Number four, Miss Philippines. Right up here. And you speak English well, I know that. Miss Philippines, in the next day or so, a man will land on the moon. If a man from the moon landed in your hometown, what would you do to entertain him? Oh, uh, it's the same things I do. I think if he's been in the moon for so long, I think when he comes over, he wants a change, I guess. <laughs> Very good. Very good, Miss Philippines. Here you go. The first runner-up is Miss Finland. Miss Philippines is Miss Universe of 1969. Congratulations, Miss Philippines. Martha, would you step in? Please. There we are. Dede, if you please. The cake. Miss Philippines. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Army Barbara Crespo, and I come from Manila, Philippines. Miss Philippines. <laughs> Miss Philippines. Army Barbara Crespo. She's from Manila. She's five feet, five and a half, and she's tall and weighs 110 pounds. She has black hair and dark brown eyes, and she's 18 years old. Philippines. Miss Philippines voted most photogenic in the pageant. Miss Philippines! And uh, your name is? Margarita Moran. And what would you like to do, Margarita? Later? Yes, as a job. Uh, I'd like to be a banker. A banker? Why a banker? Well, uh, first, I'd like to follow my father's footsteps because he's a banker. And uh, besides that, I'm taking up a course in business administration, which is courses in uh, banking and finance. And I like counting money. You like counting money? What would you do with the $10,000 if you win in the Miss Universe pageant? Uh, I'd invest it. Um, probably I'd build up a hotel. A hotel? Yes, and I'll run a business and my sister will manage it because she's taking up business at, uh, hotel management in school. You know, I think I've made a discovery. This girl could be the Onassis of the Philippines before she's through. Thank you very much, Miss Philippines. Yeah. Miss Philippines. Maria Margarita Moran. <laughs> she has dark brown hair and dark brown eyes. Five feet, six inches tall and weighs 116 pounds. Nineteen. Evening long, she is Miss Philippines. Now, Miss Philippines, this is the remaining question. This question is for you. Your question is, let's make believe that all of a sudden, this is a perfect question for her. Let's make believe that all of a sudden you had a million dollars. What's the first thing you would buy and why would you buy it? A house and lot. Because it's the most expensive thing and I can't afford it. So if I had a million bucks, I'll buy a house and lot and live by myself <laughs> and other people, of course. Thank you very much, Miss Philippines. The first runner-up is Miss USA. Miss Philippines is Miss Universe. 
Si Guada Sanchez, taga Maynila. Miss Philippines! Here we have 11 Miss Philippines, please. She is Guadalupe Sanchez. And she just finished high school, and Guadalupe, it must be a thrill to be among the semi-finalists in your own country. Yes, that's very true. How did you feel when you heard me call your name? Relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> it was all over. At last, you were among yes, the 12. Now, I know you visited the United States. Yes, I did. Why don't you tell our audience uh, here in the uh, Folk Arts Theater and uh, in the United States some of your impressions of the USA? Well, I really had fun in New York City because I went to Niagara Falls it, my first week there. I stayed for a month, and I watched Miss USA crown, and then after that I spent three weeks at the city itself in New York, and I had lots of fun. Did you get out to the West Coast at all? No, I couldn't. I didn't have time. They sent me a cable to say, go home soon. <laughs> all of these girls have uh, gotten off on the subject of boys somehow. Uh, how do you compare the boys in the United States with the boys here at home? Well, the boys are boys, no matter what. <laughs> One thing nice about Filipino boys, there are a lot of them in Manila. Yes. No. Yeah. No. No. There are four girls to one boy. In Manila? Yes. Miss USA, this is the place for you, <laughs> right here. All right, thank you, Miss Philippines. You're welcome. Guadalupe Sanchez, black hair, black eyes, five feet six, 124 pounds, and only 18 years old. Philippines. <laughs> I am Rosemary Singson Rosas from Manila, Philippines. Muchas gracias. Finalist is Miss Philippines. This is Rosemary Brosas. She's from uh, Makati. She's 18, and she's a student. And uh, did you see our pageant in the Philippines last year? Yes. I was one of the usherettes for the Miss Universe at 1974. What ran through your mind when you watched the girls on our stage last year? Well, I was thinking I dreamt of being in the contest, but I never expected of being here. And this dream has come true for you. Yes. Yes, it has. Thank you, Miss Philippines. Thank you. one of them. Now, your question is, if you become Miss Universe of 1975, what one individual other than your parents would have made the greatest contribution to your success, and why? Well, I think uh, it would be the judges, because they were the ones who uh, voted for me if I won Miss Universe. Very good. The Thank you. up for the title of Miss Universe is... Miss Philippines. Congratulations. Maria was 
sorry, Mr. Lyon. Philippi is Miss Philippines. First question for you is how old are you? I am 21 years old. And my next question is how long have you been 21? Just um, nine or ten hours ago. Just ten hours ago. It's her. Your father <coughs> is a famous actor in the Philippines. Yes, he is. Has he encouraged you to become an actress? No, my father is very much against my entering the movies because he thinks that it is not good for a woman. It's not good also for men, but more so for women. And so what are you going to do? Well, I am still interested in acting, and I want to go into some um, voice lessons, because I am a frustrated singer. Your father is undoubtedly watching, and he knows what you're up to now, so you'd better be yes. careful. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Miss Philippines. Rosario has black hair and brown eyes. She's 21 years old. Weighs 117 pounds, and she's 5 feet 6 inches tall. Miss Philippines, if you could meet anyone in the world... Um, I have no one in particular, but I would want to meet somebody who's involved in politics or in ruling or running a government, let's say a nation, whether it's small or big. I would like to meet him and get to talk to him. Thank you, Miss Philippines. The third runner-up is Miss Philippines. Before they settle down for serious sunbathing, we get to see the white and blue swimsuits of Miss Philippines, Desiree Verdadero. This is Miss Philippines! <laughs> this is Desiree Verdadero, 21, Manila. She is a model, and how long have you been a model? Two years. What type of modeling do you do? I'm a ramp and commercial model. Now, you know there are literally thousands of girls watching us right now on CBS who would like to be models. What would you like to tell them about the job? Well, uh, modeling is not an easy job, and it's also not a stable job. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be unstable to be a model, isn't it? It is, it, uh, sometimes you have a lot of work and sometimes there are times when you have no work. Yes. Do you have an agent who represents you? No, I'm a freelancer model. And you make, uh, your own, uh... I have lots of friends who are designers, so when they want to get me, they, they, they will get me. <laughs> and do they get you often? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> then you don't need an agent. No. All right, thank you, Miss Philippines. Desiree is five feet six and a half inches tall and weighs 112 pounds. She's 21 years old with black hair and dark brown eyes. Number one is Miss Philippines.
Now, Miss Philippines, the question is, should you be the new Miss Universe? You will become a symbol to young women and girls all over the world. What would you like to tell them? Well, all, all I want to tell them is being Miss Universe is a uh, pride and I'd like to spread peace and goodwill to all nations. That's all. Thank you, Miss Philippines. The third runner-up is Miss Philippines. I want you to come forward to me. She is Geraldine Edith Assis. She is 23. She lives in Manila. She is a college graduate. And what was your major in college? I majored in interior design. And what are you doing now? I'm working with our family business, and at the same time, I'm into modeling and doing some clothes business. Now, I was pleased to learn that you watch The Price is Right in the Philippines. Of course, that's my favorite show. <laughs> Now, here's a contestant of rare good taste, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you have family members living in the United States? Yeah, my grandmother's there. All the brothers and sisters of my father's there. Where do they live? New York, Michigan, um, L.A., Florida, everywhere. Have you visited all these places? If I'm going to win Miss Universe, it's the first thing I'm going to do, go visit you them. You have never been to the United States? Not yet. Well, of course, if you can see the price is right in the Philippines, there's no reason to go to the United States, is there? <laughs> yeah, but I think it's better if you see it live. That's right. Thank you, Miss Philippines. With black hair and brown eyes, Geraldine is 23 years old. She is 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighs 120 pounds. father but yet he loves me like his own flesh and blood and I love him for that. University student from Manila who turned 20 while you were here at the pageant. Happy birthday to you first of all. Thank you so much. Now being in pageants is kind of a legacy for you too right? Well, not necessarily. This is my first pageant prior to the lo uh, local pageant. But what I mean is you, it's happened in your family before. Oh, yeah, most definitely. My mom was uh, first runner-up in the Miss Philippines, so I'm kind of carrying on this opportunity for her. Mm -hmm. Now, she sort of parlayed that uh, first runner-up uh, in the Philippines into an acting career. Is that what you plan on doing? Um, well, actually, I'm part-time acting right now, but it's just so I could put my foot in the water and try different fields of my life. Mm -hmm. Is that what you want to end up doing, though, you think? Um, eventually, I want to pursue my career and become a doctor and eventually a surgeon. That's my biggest dream in my life. Okay. Now, we have, been, we have been videotaping all over this country, and if there is one thing that I have learned, you guys have a bunch of islands here. How many islands are in the Philippines? High tide or low tide? <laughs> <laughs> Give them both. Well, with high tide, we have 7,107, and then low tide, we have 7,108. Wow, amazing. All right. Well, on behalf of the staff here in the Miss Universe pageant, we'd like to thank you and your, all your countrymen. You've been 
very gracious, very hospitable, and we thank you for having us here in the Philippines. That's Miss Philippines, Charlene Bonin Gonzalez. chosen judge number seven, Jonas McCord. If you could be a fictional film or literary character, who would you be and why? I think I would be Superwoman because she helps a lot of people. She's very fun and she's a dynamic person who does many deeds for our world. All right, that's Miss Philippine. Her mother and brother are actors, so Charlene's used to media exposure. Well, she'll have plenty of that if she wins tonight. and dreams of launching her own. So Philippines got a lesson on South America from our delegate from Guatemala. Hello. Hello, Jack. So now I understand that you love to sing and dance in the Philippines. Did you learn any Guatemalan songs? I did not learn any Guatemalan songs because most Guatemalans, uh, Guatemalan music are mostly instrumental. I learned about their uh, instrument though, which is called marimba. It's like a xylophone and um, it tells, they also named marimba as a dance in, in oh. Guatemala. So it's also an instrument and a dance. And a dance. I see. Now, you say that women are very modest in the Philippines. How would they compare to the women in Guatemala? Are they also very modest? Well, basically, we have the same uh, culture as in Guatemala because we both have been colonized by the Spaniards. And uh, basically, we are both conservative when it comes to uh, to how women carry themselves. Right, I see. I know something about you, that you like to watch TV, don't you? Yes. Okay, now, what, what do you think you'd see in Guatemala if you were watching TV? Oh, if I would be watching TV, maybe, perhaps they would have a Discovery Channel there, and if, if Discovery Channel would feature Guatemala, I would like to learn more about Guatemala. I love that channel, and the lions, I love all <laughs> yes. that. Okay. Philippines, thank, thank you. Miriam Kiambo of the Philippines is 23 and a licensed physical therapist who creates special exercises for her patients. She wants to go for a doctorate in physical therapy in order to own and operate her own clinic. Her only regret is that her work schedule cuts into her exercise routine. your proudest achievements was standing up to one of your professors back in college. Now, what have you stood up for recently? Oh, when I fell on the stage last Friday. <laughs> I believe that I had stood up for the rest of the women who have fallen whether on or off stage, I believe that <laughs> through this example of mine, I have shown courage and strength of being a woman, of being who I am. 
and I hope to be a good example to the rest of the women in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Philippines. Philippines! Philippines! Well, I, I, I thought this girl had it. She clammed up. She really clammed up. Uh, it's a shame, really. Exactly. She definitely choked. From a cash scholarship from Oscar De La Renta Swimwear is Philippines, the 1990s! <laughs>